Hey, good morning, everyone. Billy Williams, I appreciate you being here today. Today, we're going to talk about two things, the process timelines and key task. And we're going to talk about how to use Outlook Smart Scheduler to help you to implement processes within your agency. These are very important tools, guys. So I want to make sure you're, you're really putting a lot of emphasis and a lot of understanding and patience, I guess, into learning these tools. A little bit about me. My name is Billy Williams. I'm president of Inspire Nation Business Mentoring. We have hundreds of member agents. I'm also president of Williams Family Agency Investment Group. We currently have 23 business partner agencies and we produce approximately $360 million in earned premium annually. So the things that I'm going to tell you are the things that I talk to you about. It's not from a consultant standpoint. It's from a this is what our agencies are doing that has made them successful standpoint. I'm a proud military veteran. From 1982 to 2003, I was I was a commander of Army College Recruiting. Not that entire time, obviously, but I retired in 2003 as station commander of U.S. Army College Recruiting. I'm a former all-state market business consultant, so I've been on the management side. I was also an all-state agent, so obviously I was on the agent side as well. Currently, I mentor to I'm a mentor to many of the top producing agencies and agents in the country. Today's training outline, we're going to talk about what is the process timelines and key task document, how to use the process timelines and key task document, what is Smart Schedule for Outlook, how to download and set up Smart Schedule, the Smart Schedule tool. We'll talk about how to create event templates, templates in Smart Schedule, how to create projects in Smart Scheduler, and how to import and export event templates to another Smart Scheduler user. Any questions about the Smart Schedule can be found on our website, www.inspirenation.org. If you're a current member, you do not have to log on to the new site. Just continue to log on to Screencast if you want to see this video in Screencast. But for our non-members, just go to inspirenation.org. Okay? Let's talk about process timelines and key tasks. The process timelines and key task document shows you the day a task should occur in a process and the exact task that should happen on that day. Now Inspired Nation has created a process timeline and key task PDF for all major Inspired Nation processes and that PDF is on the attachment tab of the processes in the video and document library. So let's do a live demonstration. I'm going to go over to our video and document library and show you exactly what I mean. Now this is the Inspire Nation video and document library. We've got training on pretty much anything you need to know or understand about running an agency. Here we're going to come down and I'll just choose the claims process, process 13 in the video library. I'll click on this. For us, the claims process is really a three follow-up process. There's day zero when we do certain things. There's day seven, or excuse me, day three when we do certain things and then there's day seven when we do certain things so I'm gonna come down where you see the claims process timelines and key task PDF and let's open up that PDF let me go ahead and expand this what you guys can't read that really okay let's go ahead and open this up for you here on day zero what do we do we contact the claims customer and ask if they're okay we set the expectation and we point out policy weakness on day two, we review all of the coverages on the policy, and there are certain things that we do there, such as mail a life insurance quote, get an emergency contact, those particular things. On day seven, we call them to make sure that our financial specialist has followed up. We want to make sure they've gotten back the, if they declined having a life insurance appointment with us, they've gotten back the selection rejection form. Well, what Smart Schedule allows me to do is take all of these different days and these different tasks and put them into a quick calendar event in Outlook that will flow exactly the way I need it to. So let's come back over here and I'm going to live demonstrate Smart Schedule. Now you have to go to our website www.inspirenation.org to download this. Once you download it you're going to have a little button up here that says Project Center. So I'm going to click on the Project Center. I'm going to come over where it says Templates. Now what is a template? A template is a series of events so here since we're talking about the claims process I'm gonna click on claims now again at day zero certain things happened at day two certain things happened at day seven certain things happened so I'm gonna just open up one here I'll go ahead and edit it and show you how we actually created that event I recommend you always leave it as an appointment here the subject is initial claim steps importance is high 
our category is green. Green for us means this is a money making task. So we consider this a green category. Zero days after previous appointment. And I'll show you when you, when you guys actually create a brand new event, what that means about days before or days after. Down in the notes here, I've got contact the claim customer and see if they're okay. You know, all those things that you saw on that sheet. So let's go ahead and save. And then on the next one, let's go ahead and edit that one so we can show you what we've done here. Is we, again, we set it all up. This is part of our green time. I'll make this an all day event so it shows up at the top of my calendar. Notice here it asks about Sunday, Saturday, and public holidays. I love this tool because if I'm trying to schedule something and it ends up falling on a Sunday or Saturday or public holidays, it will automatically skip past it. I don't have to sit there and try to figure out what I need to do. And then of course, down in the notes section of this is where you really see the, the uh, lock-in to everything where all the different notes and the tasks are there. So I'll hit save. And let's go ahead and close. So that's what I mean about an event template. If you notice, I've got all these different templates on the left side here, birthday process, emergency contact, lead follow-up. I mean, all these different things that are there. Now, that's all great, but how do I make this work for me? I'm going to come over to where you see project commands and where it says create appointments or tasks. Here, all I do is select the template I want to work. So I'm going to go claims process template and I go next. Then up at the top where it says project name, I'm going to put in uh, John Doe had a claim. And I'll put in his phone number, 123-456-7899. I want it to start today because the, today is when he had the claim. And then I hit next. Well, the three events are already there because it was part of the template that I set up. And now I hit finish and watch what happens. As soon as I click OK, I close. Now the initial claim step, John Doe, is in my actual library. So if I click on right here, or excuse me, in my actual calendar. So if I click on right here, there's the, there are the initial steps for John Doe. He had a claim. There's his phone number, and there's exactly what I need to do. Two days later, claim follow-up phone call, John Doe. Again, it pops in right there. There's everything that I need to know about that. So guys, this is an awesome tool that if you use, will make sure that your staff is compliant with your processes. You never have to wonder if they know what to do. And more importantly, you never have to miss out on something because you just forgot to do a, a particular piece of this. Let's go forward. And there it is, call about life insurance. It happened seven days later. Actually, it was longer than seven days because it skipped Saturdays, Sundays. And if there was a major holiday there, it skipped that as well. So I love the tool from that standpoint, just how easy and quickly it operates for me. So let's come back over here. Okay, that's our process timeline. Now Smart Scheduler allows you to create specific process events, individual calendar events with process notes and key tasks. It allows you to create event templates, which is a series of events specific to a process. It allows me to create a project, which is an event template that is assigned to a specific customer, prospect, and staff member. It allows all that to flow directly into my Outlook calendar with a few clicks of a button. More importantly though, it makes sure a staff member never has to wonder again when to do something or what they have to do concerning a process. And I just showed you a live demonstration of Smart Scheduler. I, wanted, I do want to show you one other thing though that I didn't cover. So let me come back over here to my Outlook and show you this. Let me open up my Project Center again. I've created a template, some wonderful templates, but I need to send that template to another smart schedule user. In that particular case, all I have to do is export it by clicking on the process and click export. My email will pop up. It actually is a zip file. I send that zip file over to whoever that other user is and all they do is import. So once they click import, it allows me to go out and locate that file that I saved somewhere on my computer imported directly in and now that template is in that user's smart scheduler so it's real real simple to do guys real simple to do if you're an inspire nation member we've already created the templates for you and we will go ahead and email you two templates per month i'm not going to send you a file of all the different processes that we have i'm not going to help you to actually 
put all of our processes out there on the street. Okay. But every process is in the video library already. You just have to type them all in and set it all up and do all that. Or you shouldn't be working more than two processes a month anyway. You're really adding. I won't say working. You shouldn't be adding any more than two processes a month anyway. So if you just call us and let us know what processes you want to add, we'll email that over to you if you've been a member of ours for at least six months or if you paid for the full year. I know you're going to be around a while. And then I'll go ahead and I'll shoot that over to you. Okay? But that's a very, very important piece of this because I don't want you to have... I don't want every single person or every single staff person to have to recreate this. You create it once and then you shoot it over to that individual staff person. So in order to use Smart Schedule for Outlook, you have to first download it from the recommended vendors page of our website, which is www.inspireanation.org. Secondly, the cost is $97 for license, but when purchasing, put in the code Inspire Nation or Inspire and you'll get $10 off the license. You must have a full version of Outlook, not web access, not one of these watered down versions. It's got to be a full version of Outlook. And you have to have admin rights to be able to download it to your computer. If you can't download stuff to your computer, maybe you're corporate or you just don't have admin rights, then you're not going to be able to use this. But for my Allstate guys, my captive folks that are out here, you probably don't have a full version of Outlook and you probably don't have admin rights to be able to download anything to your computer to Outlook so you might not be able to use this tool but at least you could go in and manually set up I guess the events if you needed to you can purchase multiple licenses at a reduced cost per license you can also purchase an organization license that allows you to deploy this tool to hundreds of staff members and have corporate control over the use of the tool. So if there's someone out here from corporate, you know, that wants to decide they want to use this throughout all of their organization, there's a way you can do that as well. So let's summarize. You have to download it from the recommended vendors page of our website, www.inspirenation.org. The cost is $97 per license, but if you put in Inspire or Inspire Nation into the discount code, you'll get $10 off. You must have a full version of Outlook, not web access, not one of the watered down versions, not Lotus Notes. You have to have a full version of Outlook and you have to have the admin rights to be able to download this smart scheduler to your computer. You can purchase multiple licenses. You can purchase an organization license. Now, if you're already one of our members, you can use the Inspire Nation process timelines and key task documents that's already located in our video and document library for that or you can create your own. It's completely up to you. Smart Scheduler, the process timelines and key tasks, extremely important in helping you to drive your business, helping you and your team to understand what to do and how to do it. Okay? Thanks guys. We appreciate you being here today. You guys have a good day.